So when we forget something, it is from shaitan. Wa ma illa shaitan. When you forget something good, it's from shaitan. So this is why we should constantly try and remember that which is good. How to increase your memory. Cut out everything unnecessary from your life. Some people have a habit of sitting and chit-chatting late at night. Following morning, they can't remember how many raka'at in Fajr. But there's only two. They can't remember. Why? Because your mind has rewinded all night the beautiful stories you had all night and you're standing now in Salah and you just, you can't remember. Too much on, in your head. Take out some of that. This is why Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, Min husni islam il mar'i tarkuhu ma la ya'ni. One of the signs of a good Muslim is that he leaves that which does not concern him. It doesn't concern me, throw it out. Today we are at an age where we are bothered about everybody else's life. And this is a problem wholesale. Nobody can say I'm not guilty. When we hear a juicy rumor, mashallah, it's like we squeezing the lemon. Allahu Akbar. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us goodness. Really, we need to be bothered about our own lives. Cut out unnecessary riffraff and see how your memory improves. May Allah open our doors. And this is why we say, my brothers and sisters, very importantly, if you'd like to learn knowledge, if you would like to know, if you would like to increase your knowledge, you need to quit sin. Be conscious of Allah and Allah will teach you. Allah will ensure that you know, your knowledge will increase. You know, a Shafi'i, Rahmatullahi Alayhi, his name was Muhammad ibn Idris Shafi'i, the Imam, the great Imam of jurisprudence. He uh, complained once to one of his uh, mentors known as Waki ibn al Jarrah, Rahimahullah. And he says, I complained to Waki ibn al Jarrah about my memory. And Shafi'i had a powerful memory. Trust me, he had a powerful memory and he's still complaining about the memory. Someone like myself and yourselves, perhaps our memories are weak. You know, we, we can't even memorize a phone number to save our lives. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us. I think it was the case a few years back when we could do that. But technology has made us lazy. So a Shafi'i with that powerful memory, he still complains. And he says, I complained to Waki ibn al-Jarrah regarding my, the memory. And he guided me saying, Quit sin, be far away from sin, anything sinful, stay away from it. Because knowledge is the nur that Allah grants those and it does not come together with a person who is sinning. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us really. And this is why we mentioned yesterday and we are repeating it today. One of the best gifts of Allah upon us after our iman and so on is the fact that we have an opportunity to turn to Allah to make amends. We have an opportunity to turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to wipe out the bad we've done in the past very easy you admit you regret you ask Allah's forgiveness and you promise not to do it again and it's wiped out that's the promise that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made but if you have usurped the right of a fellow Muslim or a fellow human being then you need to seek forgiveness from them as well that's the fifth condition when you have wronged a fellow human so if there is a sin committed between you and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala four conditions we've mentioned them but if you've added an individual say I stole someone's money I can't just say yeah Allah I stole these million this million but I ask you to forgive me I won't do it again I regret and I repent and you're still going to enjoy that million and the brothers asking you for the million you need to return it or you need to tell him please forgive me and if he says okay then it's fine if he, if he says no then you've got a problem because you will either sort the matter out in this world or on the day of judgment Allah will choose how the justice will be served so all this we would only know if we took a moment to learn it is reported that when you forget something you say Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammadin wa barik wa sallim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens your doors you remember Allah Allah will remind you